three resistors with resistance 200 ohms, 500 ohms, and 1 kilo ohms are connected in series. A 6 volt battery is connected to either end of the combination. Calculate the potential difference between the ends of the 200 ohm resistor. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to sketch sketch the description there. So say we have three resistors with this resistance connected in series. So this is a series connection. Resistor number one. Resistor number two and resistor number three. This is a series connection. R1. R3. A six volt battery is connected to either end of the combination. So we are going to connect the battery to any of the ends, either this one or this one. Hmm? Let me connect it to this side. Okay, let me connect it to this side. Positive, negative. So this is our six volt. So this is the six volt battery. It's connected to an end of that combination. So let me label my resistor. This is 200 ohms. This is 500 ohms. And this is 1 kilo ohm. That's 1000 ohm. Calculate the potential difference between the end of the 200 ohm resistor. This is the 200 ohm resistor. So we should calculate the voltage or the potential difference v1 v1 represents the voltage across the 200 ohms resistor so we should calculate the voltage between these two that means if you have your um voltmeter or your multimeter you set it to voltage reading and if you test between these two terminals, it will, that's under DC because all the thing we are calculating here is DC, not AC. So if you test it, you will see the voltage across this resistor. So depending on the resistance, each of these resistors have their own voltage drop. That's the voltage, the, that's, when we say voltage drop, that's the amount of voltage they take from this battery, from this 6 volt. So we have to calculate the one that this R1 takes. So according to Ohm's law, voltage V1 will be what? The current flowing through this network, which is I, times the resistor here, that the resistance here, R1 will give you the voltage across R1. So now, uh, before we find the V1, we need we already know R1, but we don't know the current. That means we have to find the current first. So current I. And you know in a series connection, the current through each device or component is the same. That means if it is the current passing through, coming out from the battery will be the same current passing through R1, the same current passing through R2, same current passing through R2, because the series connection is to be parallel. The current will be different while the voltage will be the same. While in series, the voltage, the voltage is different while the current is the same. So now for us to calculate our current, I current will be what? Overall voltage over equivalent what resistance. Because you don't use this one to calculate the current unless you know V1. But since we don't know V1, but we know V, that's the overall voltage across the entire thing, and then we don't know R equivalent. So we are going to find R equivalent. And since the series connection, R equivalent equals to what? R1 plus R2 plus R3. So if you add that together, 200 plus 500, that's 700. It's 1,000, that's 1,700 ohm. That's the equivalent resistance. So the current we are looking for, I over V is 6, 6 over 1,700, 
700. So if you do this, it will give you 0. something of that nature. And that will be in amps. But I, I wouldn't want to uh, reduce this to decimal yet. So 6 over 1,700 amps. So now let's calculate the voltage across the resistor R. So our V1 will now be, since we know our current, our total current, which is 6 over 1,700 times our R1. Our R1 is 200. These two zeros, we cancel these two zeros. So if you do this time, this divided by 17, you have that your V will be equals to 3.5 times 10 raised to power of um, minus 3, okay, times 200. If you process that, that will give you 0. 0.7706 volt. So the voltage across R1 is 0 0.706 volt. If you check in our option, we have 0 0.7, 0 0.71. If you round up this one to two decimal place, you see this one is more than five. You borrow one add here, that will be 0. Point Seven one volt. So that's the voltage across. That's the voltage across the first resistor. There. Thank you.